I know you saw the thumbnail and you must be wondering. Will my job be one of these jobs that don't exist in another 10 years or so? And you have every right to be concerned. And that's why I decided to do this video. Because knowing now will give you an opportunity to do a complete career change in time for what's to come. Not having this knowledge and continuing to do exactly what it is that you're doing will result in you falling falling flat on your face when your job or even your industry disappears. Because in some instances, it's not just jobs that will disappear, but entire industries will also disappear. This is driven primarily by a huge shift into a knowledge-based tech-heavy service economy that will hit many workers hard and this has even decimated some regions and a prime example of hard-working people who have been put out of jobs already is a region like what was referred to as the rust belt this is the area from pittsburgh to cleveland to detroit and beyond where a generation of skilled workers who were all trained in machinery to make complex automobiles or who were capable of operating machinery to make steel which is the foundation for many of the buildings in our society those jobs have now all gone and they are never coming back my rock stars, you don't want to be in this position, but you know what? Many of you are at risk. And as such, I encourage you to grab your pen, grab your paper as usual, and make notes. And in listening to this video, note if your profession, your industry will be impacted and start making the necessary plans to get ahead of it. I will also do another video and in it I'll talk about the 10 most in-demand jobs of the future. So if your job, for whatever reason, when I go through this list, is going away, at least you'll have an idea of what you can do to re-educate yourself, to recertify yourself, or to learn something new so you will be able to stay afloat in the future. I don't really it is so great to have you back on this channel i welcome you and i know i say it a lot and i'm starting to sound like a broken record but i don't take your loyalty for granted because you know what you could have clicked and watched another video so i appreciate you coming back and doing so repeatedly remember to like this video ahead of you watching it and then if you figure at the end that it wasn't worth the like just go back and unlike it i'll appreciate that and don't hesitate to join our rock stars family by clicking subscribe also remember that there are scammers in the comments they're gonna use my photograph they're gonna ask you to telegram them to telegraph them they're even gonna create fake instagram pages and fake telegram pages it's not me i don't even own a telegram account now as i share with you 10 jobs that i'm confident will not exist in another 10 years what i've come to realize is that these jobs typically go away during a recession, during a market crash, or during bad economic times. Now, if you ask the right economist, we are in a recession right now. Well, you and I know that inflation is very high and many companies, as I've shared in other videos, are letting people go. Whenever these conditions are happening in the market, it's usually the ideal time for jobs to disappear. Why? Because companies have to seek new ways to cut back cost. And on most PL or profit and loss statement, the biggest cost is usually the cost of labor. So guess what companies are gonna target first? Their people. How do we reduce this cost? We automate it, we use robotics, we use AI, we use IVR, which is voice recognition technology, we use OCR, which is optical resolution technology, 
to eliminate data entry operators as an example and there is even technology out there right now that from a medical perspective can diagnose certain diseases and also technology that can prepare you to try an actual case in court are you gonna win that case i don't know are you gonna save lives when you use technology from a medical perspective i don't know the point is it's on the horizon and we would be silly to sit back watch it unfold and do absolutely nothing about it companies right now are looking for ways to eliminate many of these 10 jobs that i'm sharing and they will disappear voila into thin air in the next 10 to 20 years. That said, my rock stars, get ready to pivot because you're gonna need to to stay ahead. Class is now in session. Now the first job, and I think this one is very obvious, but I know it will disappear in 10 years, not even 20 years, because there are already many solutions in progress to eliminate this job, and it's a retail cashier. Now I'm not sure how many of you are aware of the Amazon grocery store, where it's not only cashiers that you won't see, but you will not see one representative in there to ask a question. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. There's no sales associate in the store, only customers. There's definitely no cashier there. You would have also seen in many supermarkets self cash out counters and I've been seeing those for more than 10 years now. I promise you my rock stars that in another 10 years most supermarkets are going to operate that way. Over the last few years, the expansion of e-commerce platform where people are now shopping primarily online, the closing of thousands of brick and mortar stores each year, internet-based e-commerce solutions like Amazon Fresh for grocery deliveries, cashier jobs in another 10 years will be as extinct as dinosaurs. Now don't get me wrong, a cashier job wasn't a high paying job. It pays a little over 20,000 US dollars per year in places like the United States. But think about how many places have cashiers and all the individuals in society impacted by that one cashier's job. What you have to realize is that many people who became cashiers were not college educated so what are these people gonna do when that job goes away so if you're a cashier here is your opportunity to start upgrading yourself invest in continuous learning and find a career that will still exist in the next 10 years now we're gonna move into higher paying jobs or even more popular jobs as I go through this list of 10 so hang tight my rock stars now the second disappearing job that will not have persons being hired in this capacity in the future is that of a bank teller. Now I'm sure you have seen the writing on the wall because if you remember back in the day the typical bank had a ton of bank tellers and that has reduced significantly. Now you have automatic teller machines that are able to dispense cash, facilitate lodgements, and do several things that a teller would be required to do. And these have been around now for several years. And also you have online banking platforms that are capable of doing almost every single thing that you could possibly need a bank teller to do. I'll be frank with you, my rock stars. The only time I go into a bank is when I need to sign something and that's probably I'd say once per year but outside of that I have no reasons to go in a bank because I can manage every aspect of my personal life and businesses remotely using an online banking platform so if you're a bank teller today you need to put a plan in place to ensure that you're able to pivot and to do so effectively so that you can remain employed in the next 10 years or so. Now the next disappearing job of the future is that of a telemarketer 
or a customer care representative depending on the area in which they're operating. So if you work in BPO, which is business process outsourcing, or in a call center and your job is not complex and it's considered tier one or tier two, you're likely gonna be out of a job in the next 10 years. This is why I've always encouraged BPOs, especially when I worked in the industry, to tear up, meaning get more complex jobs that can't be easily replaced by machinery or AI or robotics because it's coming sooner than later. When I started in outsourcing, we were doing data entry, meaning we were taking a medical claim form as an example and our employees were typing out what was on the form into a system and uploading it so that the hospitals or the physicians or doctors would have that information on their fingertips when they needed it. Of course, optical character resolution, which is OCR, which can scan a piece of document and upload everything automatically without human intervention, made data entry jobs for the most part extinct. Now bots and AI is doing the same thing with the telemarketing or the outsourcing customer service jobs. Now again, this wasn't one of the careers that paid a lot of money, probably 22,000 to about 30,000 US dollars per year on average, especially in the US. In Jamaica, as an example, it pays anywhere from $350, at least the decent BPOs, to as much as $550 per hour, even $600. $600 in some cases. In places like the Philippines and India, where there are a lot of outsourcing jobs, it doesn't pay a lot of money there either. But you know what? A lot of persons who have not graduated from college, this is where they end up from an industry perspective. And some of them stay there for the rest of their lives and they make a career out of it. So if these jobs are going to start disappearing in the next 10 years, what is society going to do? with this labor force who aren't equipped from an educational perspective to do other things. So again, if you are a telemarketer, if you're a customer service representative working in any organization, the technology that's coming will create options to replace your jobs. Start to pivot now not then. So it may not be 10 years for you, it may be 20, but now is the time to start making a move. The thing is, my rock stars, when an industry like outsourcing is being impacted, in many countries like Jamaica, the Philippines, India, that's a vast majority of the employed population. And from an economic perspective, every one person touches five different persons in five different industries. For example, as a customer service representative in a BPO or in outsourcing, you need a taxi or transportation to get to work. So it means that if enough of you lose your jobs, transportation is also going to have to lay people off. You need daycare services to leave your children. Again, daycares are going to start closing. And that's why this video is so important because it's not just the professions that I'm talking about where jobs are going to disappear over the next 10 years that are going to be impacted, but the ripple effect of those professions will be dramatic on society. Now, the next job that is going away is kind of an obvious one, and this one has been at risk for a very long time, and it is any job related to stock, warehousing, or freight for the most part. And these jobs typically pay in the US, for example, about $23,900. In Jamaica, they pay less, but you know what? Several persons work in these industries. Unloading trucks, unpacking shipments, packing them up on shelves, Warehouse jobs, they're all disappearing jobs and will likely not exist in the next 10 to 20 years. As such, in the future, these workers will definitely have to find alternatives because robots are already here and they're only getting more sophisticated as time progress. Kiva robots, which are one of the most advanced robots out there, they actually make robots that run an entire stock room 
with very little human intervention. As I said earlier, from an organization's perspective, especially in difficult economic times, it makes sense for them to replace humans with robots because you know what? The maintenance of these robots is significantly cheaper than the labor costs that they're having to incur for human help. Also, insurance cost in a warehouse because it's so dangerous or can be so dangerous is usually very high for humans working in that environment. If you have robots, they can't die. If something happens to them, you just build them back up and they're ready to go again. So insurance costs will be significantly reduced, which is another big chunk of the budget for any company that uses a warehouse, deals with inventory or stock. My rock stars, if you are a warehouse worker, I'm really sorry to say this, but it's not a very promising future for you. But again, it's a good thing you're watching this video because you have time to pivot and get something else going before it gets to the point when you're being told that you are no longer needed for work. Now, surprisingly, this next job does pay more than many of the ones I've shared before, but it requires less effort. But it's definitely also going to be completely gone in the next 10 years or so. And it's the job of a newspaper delivery personnel. It pays about $24,000 per year in countries like the United States. And even in other territories, it's not a bad paying job that somebody who, again, is not educated at the tertiary or at the college level can do and make a decent living. Now, while you won't have robots delivering newspapers, or I don't think so at least, the reasons why this industry is gonna disappear or these jobs are gonna disappear is somewhat different, but kind of related nevertheless. Now, as an example, I do not read actual newspapers, but some of you out there, I know you're reading physical newspapers, especially older persons, because in the same way, where when we were changing to paper from those old stone tablets, you know, the ones that the commandments were written on, yeah, those ones, people were saying, oh, I'm never gonna change, I can't manage this paper, it's too fragile. There's still some people who are saying, I don't want the screen time, I'm gonna read my physical paper, but you're gonna be far and few in between or between, can't remember the phrase, but very few of you are gonna exist in the next 10 years. It's not gonna be enough for media houses to print newspapers. With the growth in smartphones, tablets, computers, and e-readers that facilitate a wider distribution for media houses, they're definitely not gonna continue to print newspapers. And as such, the couriers that deliver these newspapers to your home Home, to your work and so on are gonna have to find something else to do so if you are watching this and you know somebody who delivers newspapers or you know somebody who sells newspapers or does anything for that matter related to newspapers they need to be on the lookout because their job will likely not exist in another 10 to 20 years so even people working in media houses that have not pivot to electronic means of sharing news with the public, a lot of them will not have jobs in another 10 years as well. Whether they're editors, journalists, or whatever the profession is, their jobs are gonna be at risk because you do not need people to be sitting in a media house to edit something that's gonna go in the paper. Somebody can be editing in the Philippines for a media house that's in Jamaica and doing so at 50% of the cost. That's the risk when things go online, even in cases where they themselves live in a developing territory. Now this next job that's not gonna exist in another 10 to 20 years is that of a travel agent. And they earn about $31,000 per year in the US. And they're probably decent paying jobs in most territories across the globe. But you're gonna need to pivot if you're a travel agent or for that matter, if you have any job 
or functions in your job role related to travel. Bing.com, I'm not even sure how many of you know Bing.com and the fact that it's a search engine like Google, just a much less popular search engine, but you know what they did as a differentiator? And by the way, Bing.com is owned by Microsoft, but they created a built-in travel website on their platform that people can use to manage their travel. And this application surpasses everything that has been created out there in the industry for the last, I would say, 15 years or so. This travel website on Bing will tell you things like what future prices will look like for travel and say, hold on Odetta, don't book the ticket yet to go to the Olympics in 2024 in Paris. Wait for another year to book it because something is gonna happen and prices are gonna drop by 50%. If I can get that from technology, why do I need a travel agency? The software will also warn you about price increases in travel as well so that you stay away from that time to book your travel, which is something that most travel agents today can't even do. But you know what? With technology, with algorithms and analytics, you're able to forecast certain things much more efficiently because in the end, it's a matter of massaging data which is something the human mind can't comprehend when so many moving parts are involved. This travel software that's created by Microsoft and available on Bing.com, it's been doing so well that Google had to level up. And as such, when you go on Google Maps now, it will do things like estimating airfare for long distance travel directions and will link to Google Flights as well, where you can get options to book if you are in the market to make a flight. With Google, it will actually suggest options for you to make slight changes in your travel date to save significantly, which I know my rock stars, we all want to do on this channel. When you combine the Bing travel platform or software with what Google is offering now, you will get information related to exactly when to fly to save money, when to buy tickets to capitalize on the best options. And with that information at your fingertips in the convenience of your home without having to pick up the phone to call a travel agent, guess what you're going to do? you're gonna stop calling. And as such, travel agent jobs are gonna be extinct. So if you're watching this, you know somebody who works in a travel agency, or you yourself has a job that's related to a travel agency, listen my rock stars, it doesn't mean that you're a travel agent alone. You could be the janitor working at the agency or the receptionist or the security guard, you need to start looking for options to pivot because soon you will likely not have a job. Now, the next job that's going to go away is a good paying job, I would say. It pays about 32,000 US dollars per year in North America, and it is the job of a postal worker. Now, you and I know that hundreds of thousands of people across the globe work in post offices. And although emails have slowly replaced mail, there are still a few things that will come in the mail. But in the next 10 years, my rock stars, that will not continue to be the case. The USPS, which is the United States Postal Services, which is a federal agency in the US, has been known over the years to offer stable jobs to especially African Americans. Now it's obvious as it pertains to which ethnicity is going to be most impacted when post offices start to close. When you have drones delivering packages and FedEx with cargo planes that don't need pilots to fly them and Amazon's futuristic drones that are going to just drop your packages on your doorsteps, the post office will not stand a chance. So again, if you're in this industry, it's time to pivot before 10 years come and you're thinking, Oh my God, what am I going to do? The benefits were so great working for the federal agency at the post office. 
The pay was decent. It's a good way to step into the middle class over time if you're good at saving and investing your money. Well, my rock stars, it's the end of that era and post office jobs na keep again. So start putting things in place right now for the jobs of the future. Now this next job is actually one that pays a pretty tidy sum. It's about 43,000 US dollars per year if you're in North America and it's the job of a taxi dispatcher and this is another job that's gonna disappear in the next 10 to 20 years. You now obviously have apps like Uber and Lyft where you can dispatch your own taxi. You will see the driver who is coming for you, what their name is, what their vehicle is. It will tell you exactly what time they're gonna show up at your doorstep, take you to where you want to go, charge you using a card virtually so you don't have to deal with cash and send you a receipt and even give you an opportunity to provide feedback on the service. You can't get that from a traditional taxi dispatcher. So if you are a taxi or a transportation dispatcher, you may already be feeling the pinch. And while it's a good paying job, it's about to expire. So make your move now, my rock stars. Now this next job, I'm even still surprised that it exists to this day, but it's that of a librarian. And it actually pays a pretty decent salary at about 54,000 US dollars on average in North America. Now, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, especially in Jamaica here, as I was going to Mount Alvernia High School, I would look forward to going to the library on the Saturday. And while my parents thought going to the library was to educate myself even more, it was really to hang out with friends. But let's focus on the real purpose of the library and the librarian. They were always good when we get a research project to point out which encyclopedia we should use to get the information. You know what my rock stars? Google does that now. The Amazon Echo does that with Alexa. And there are so many ways to get information out there that nobody needs to look at books or to access books anymore. With applications like Google Books, which has now been ruled as a legal option for getting access to information automated solutions like that are only gonna get more popular so if you have a degree in library science as an example which probably was very expensive I'm not gonna say it's a waste of money because I'm sure there are ways to pivot from that degree but you need to start that pivoting right now my rock stars because a library assistant will not be necessary in another 10 to 20 years as a matter of fact this is one of them that could even be much earlier. Now this one shocked me. You know why? Because it's a new job on the horizon. But when I did my research, I realized that there was a lot of truth to the fact that this is going to be another disappearing job in the near future. And it is that of a social media manager. This job pays about 59,000 US dollars per year in North America. And as a new occupation, I know many of you are also surprised to see it on this list of disappearing jobs. The thing is my rock stars as social media becomes a part of our daily lives and we figure out how to use it, how to post ads, how to manage our back end and all that good stuff. You're going to find that the more familiar we get as a society, the less we'll require help from social media managers because what they're doing will become second nature to us. So if you are employed, as a social media manager or as a matter of fact if you have any job that's related to social media that people can easily watch a video on YouTube and figure out how to do that thing that you're advertising or that service that you're providing then your job could potentially be at risk my rock stars we're at the end of another video I do hope you found value in it and if you do I would really appreciate you liking this video now that I've talked about the disappearing jobs of the future if you want me to hurry up and do the 
most in demand jobs of the future right in the description below or i should say in the comments below in demand jobs and i will make haste in delivering this content to you my rock stars remember to subscribe and join our family if you are not yet a part of our tribe and until next time walk good